It's the Dun Dun Special. The Dun Dun Special which has makes, made it. Which makes sense. Uh, trying, to, trying to play into LeBlanc as Jax does not sound like a fun and enjoyable experience at all. Uh, that's my guess, at least. I think any top doesn't make a lot of sense. You don't have a lot of the innate. I'm pretty uh, sure it's, that you want. it's almost definitely jungle milieu. So we've got so that long. Dutch yeah. history, yeah. And it, it's one of my favorite cheeses, just I've the heard, sandwiches as I've well. Heard, yeah, no, I've, I've, I mean, I love the cheese. I, I've heard that the, as a... Oh. All right, uh, Rascal, can you get another solo is the question. The chains do connect, and Kana is flashing the leap strike. Going to come forward, and there it is. Solo kills, and uh, Kana's going to try and catch up immediately afterwards, but that's first blood oh. going on. And I'll grab a little Rift Scuttler here at the same time. So D-Plus in a pretty good position. And it looked great, you know, it's like, it's so cool. It's scary. But Static Shiv means that Kana will just be able to ignore him pretty soon. There's the flash forward, the bear comes down, the Q is going to land. And a very comfortable kill for Canyon here in the mid lane. You love to see it. Rascal and does get away. Still pretty scary is this Jax. D-Plus trying to grab this solo Hextech Drake. And it is going to be an Ocean. Right, he can't flash yeah. away, but... As you so very rightly point out, um, Juhan shows right. that they uh, also, Rascal uh, may just lose, and yeah, he will. Yeah, uh, Kana comes on over, gonna grab the last plate, and goes back to the distortion, but they've probably caught him out here. Kana probably caught greeting as they dive on him, and they will be able to pick up the kill. Nicely punished here by DRX. Go for every single objective you can find on the map. As DRX should be looking for a 5v5 contest here. Hook is going to land there onto Canyon. He will be knocked up. Showmaker comes around now, finds a big tip as Canyon's back in. And Beryl's going to go down now. Deft is going to try and clean this one up. But he's going to have to flash over the wall because Fate dives in. Showmaker's still there though. He's been ignored. He's got full health as Rascal dives on top of Kana. And he might be able to pick this up. But Distortion is so frustrating. And Paddock is going to go down. Rascal is successfully avoided by the top laner of D+. Plus, and now Showmaker finds yet another stun. I think he's picking up a POG for his anti performance. I, I don't want to get ahead of myself or anything like that, but he's looking pretty good here. Uh, D plus with the gold lead they've built, the item lead's already generated, plus the I fact that there is so much inherent skill expression between the. Yeah. And Rascal. This is perfect, right? 2v2, 3v3, very all over the place type of skirmish. D plus executing. Yeah, at all about it. Uh, does have his dash cannon. It's not quite available right now, but they will be able to take this inner turret. This is exactly what they need to do. As soon as you lose Baron, the game is actually completely done. As Oh, Rascal. Is this a repeat of the Kana play? Well, he is going to get the first turret for DRX. They are not going to be turretless this game, but they will be jaxless for the next little while. That's... that That's Soul. Yeah, um, they might go Baron, but it might be Baron. Is uh, that's a great buffer of the hook, but Barrel is still dead. Cross shot going to be flying forward, and there is the volley to finish it off. So two kills. And that should mean definitely that this Drake oh, cool, looked Whoa. really cool, man, didn't it? He was like, no, I I have the sustain, and they deny the soul. Huge. Uh -oh. But they lose Baron, and now Showmaker is going to look for a little bit. Oh. They are definitely alive. Canyon may not be alive. As there's the kick. Oh, he waits for the counter strike, kicks him away, and taxis on top. Is he going to win a 1v1 against the Jax? I guess yeah. the Jax is very far behind, and so yes, he will. <laughs> um, Canyon, uh, just FYI, pretty good at Man, this. Man, he's 4-0-4. When you get a free cap right, you don't give him one star, okay? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, oh As Rascal goes down, and now, as mentioned, as soon as Baron comes through, yeah. they're going to have a good time. Errol is dead once again. Um, out of the fountain, into the furnace, into the death chamber, I guess, is uh, is how it kind of goes. And D-plus, they're done with this game. They won out, and I think they're going to go via the enemy nexus in order to get there. Looks like they will, uh, they'll dot an eye or two as they take down this inhibitor. But just a little bit too far behind our DRX. D-plus? They'll take it. And uh, yeah, as you uh, it was It wasn't a very honest 1v1, let's just say that. As we're straight back into the action, Barrel's dead once again. Um, he's going to be blocked as Canyon is going to kick him in the face and the Nautilus will go down. Kana, oh, looks for Juhan. He heartbreakers, but it's not going to be enough. Oh. As there goes the Viego, Canyon diving on forward. It's a double kill here for Kana as fate is just going to get chopped up. And Rascal, last man standing underneath his Nexus turrets. Canyon gets on in there. The Gore Drinker doing a bunch of work. As Showmaker, he's got a whole bunch of minion friends, but it looks like this Nexus is not long for the world. And D-plus, a dominant victory 
over DRX here in game number one. We'll see whether they can keep it up for game two, which was the problem in round one. But so far, looking absolutely fantastic. And in this one, D plus uses one of their trademark moves, the flex potential in drop.